Well, a and wants to know, this is their question for you. We discussed the CEO transition and what Starbucks should do next with you guys on the Fast Five when it was announced and we hosted a few months ago. On that podcast, we said that Starbucks needed to get back to improving the poor speed of service and long waits, reset the right price value on product, and focus on fundamental Starbucks experience for those who sit in store. So the question A&M has is, was Brian listening to all of us all along and did he steal our suggested playbook? (laughs) Chris, the floor is yours. Oh my God. Wouldn't we like to think so? And wouldn't we like to think so? Yes. I, I mean, chances are no, but maybe, you know, maybe, maybe somebody was inspired inside his organization to help him put this plan together. But uh, I mean, and I don't know about you. I don't know if you're buying this or not. Cause I'm curious. Cause you, you kind of, I think in that same discussion went the complete different direction. So I'm curious to see what you think, but but I'm not buying a first class ticket on this new turnaround train plan, but I'm okay. definitely I'm I'm definitely happy to sit and coach along this journey right now. I'm definitely happy. I mean, I love the creamers and the condiment bar move. That is a yep. win-win for me, both for the customers and for staff operations. I, yes. I think it does everything they say it's going to do. I love the focus on four minutes because that is personally my biggest, biggest gripe, particularly when I go into the store to order. And it has taken me sometimes 20 minutes to get my drink. And that is just yeah too freaking long. Now, how yep. you do that algorithmically is a big question. I don't even know if it's possible given how many mobile orders you got going through the system. The part that I'm most like kind of leery about though is the the ceramic mug thing because that actually requires a pretty sizable operational change. You have to collect them. You have to get them washed. You have to keep them in stock. So but you can do that it, now at Starbucks if you want. You can get a ceramic mug. You From Starbucks? I, yeah, and how many people really were like? That oh, I thing didn't know to you me, could do I that. Think, oh, I think that's just like a. I think that's like a PR sizzle thing. Well, I that, don't think. Uh, yes, a hundred percent, and that's what I was gonna say. I'm leery of it, but when I think about it, it's a marketing investment that could potentially be offset by reducing the marketing budget in other places. So by that I mean instead of advertising Starbucks as the third place. Just make it the third place and the story sells itself. So that's why I think it's kind of genius, especially if you could, I didn't even know you could already do that. So then the operational yeah. dynamics probably are a lot less than I was expecting. Although I imagine there is some in- increased cost or operational effect to this. 